Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's new vlog. But I have an Amazon haul for you guys. I have another box over there and then I have a few things that I've actually already opened. So the last little bit of stuff, I do not buy myself things like I used to. Like I used to be really bad about spending money and like buying stuff and I'm just like, I'm not really like that anymore. Like it's the end of January and this is the first bit of stuff that I've bought myself where I used to literally, oh my God, we need to talk about my shopping addiction, I think. Um, well, the shopping addiction that I used to have because I, I do not have it anymore at all. Um, if I see something I want, I usually wait to get it. Um, it back in the day, I would... Oh God, this is so embarrassing. Like a couple few years ago, um, not since I've been with Feline. I have not done this since I've been with her at all um, because I'm more responsible now. Not because of her, she's made me see things differently, but I'm, I'm just growing older. You know, in my 20s, making large portions of money coming from the childhood that I had where I had nothing, I wore like one pair of pants to school. <laughs> That's all I had. Um, coming from like literally nothing, I did not know how to react to that much money and it got so bad where I would go to the bank and I would at one time take out $10,000 and be like to my partner I'd be like all right let's go on a shopping spree and we would just shop till we dropped and that's disgusting and I will never be like that again unless I'm like a millionaire and it's like a special moment like oh shopping spree but no <laughs> I will never be that person again, so. This is again an example of when people noticed in the comments that she was spending a lot of money without care but were called haters. She said she knows where her money is going and that she can spend it. However, she liked. Now years later, she is finally admitting that she had a shopping addiction and that her audience was right. It's frustrating when you have watched her channel for years. Maybe you don't care if you just started watching her, but for me, it frustrates me when she comes clean with these things. My spending habits have gotten so much better because like you guys saw a lot of spending for Vlogmas That was specifically for Vlogmas that was budgeted that was planned That was the point you got to spend money to make money when you're a youtuber Especially like a vlogger you do have to spend money to make money when I spend money I make that money back. I don't know. It's confusing. It's hard to explain but what I'm trying to say is I got myself a few earrings and I haven't gotten myself earrings in a, it feels like a hot minute, I don't know. The cleaning of the earrings was just so she could justify getting more earrings. Granted, she does wear a lot of earrings, but she has so many even now, that she could probably go the whole year without getting new ones and still only repeat earrings once or twice. So this all came as a set together. Um, they just all came together, it's not like I bought these separately. I really love like puffball earrings, but I have a cat, I have two cats, <laughs> but Rarity, she likes to take my puffball earrings and make them a toy. And she has done this in the last few years with all my puff earrings, so now I don't really have any. And once she takes one, I make it a toy. I take off this part, obviously, and then, she just has this like soft little puff ball thing. So she has taken all my earrings. So this is what they look like. I honestly love these type of earrings. I think they're so adorable. So I'm not gonna unpackage all of them right now, but we have gray, we have a maroon, we have white, we have a cream color, and we have pink. And I'm so freaking excited for it. Oh my God. And then I got these earrings. Um, these earrings are so cheap on Amazon. So. I am guilt free because something that's like five dollars that I can have forever, girl. So these did come together. This is just a heart, it's glittery and it says Barbie. I did not get these earrings for those. I got them for these because I want to wear these on Valentine's Day. I think they're so freaking cute. Let me take them out of the package. Oh my god, it's a little heart. Um, you know those like candies that like say like be mine or whatever. It says, be mine, you're cute, and I love you. Like, look how adorable. I am obsessed. So I am wearing those 
on um, Valentine's Day. And then I got these earrings because I like to wear my hair in a side braid. That used to be my go-to look. That was like just what I did constantly. I have to confess that I am not a fan of the side braid at all. Um, and then, you know, depression struck and I started, you know, the poop bun. But we're slowly getting back into like brushing my hair more and like doing my hair more. So I got these. It's like a little side braid, which is exactly how I like to wear my hair when I'm like doing my hair or whatever. And then I got two necklaces. They come packaged like this. Um, they do come with a bracelet. I don't wear bracelets and I know the fat phobia, the fat shaming people out there is like, it's because they don't fit you. No, it's because I don't like bracelets. They just do not look good on me. But bracelets do fit. <laughs> so this is what the bracelet looks like. This is what the earrings look like. I probably won't wear the earrings or the bracelet. I mainly just got it for the necklace. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I'm really into like black and white. I have a cardigan that looks just like this. So love that. And I got another one, which also again comes with a bracelet and earrings, which I will not be wearing. This one, I, I was like, I don't know. Am I so sure about this? So these are the earrings. It's colorful. It's pastel and it has these little like fake diamonds on there. Um, it's not that cute. The bracelet. That gets cuter, but then the necklace, it's like, oh my God, wait, that's so cute. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little much, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like if I have my hair done in the right way, I'm wearing the right outfit, my makeup's in the right way, I feel like this could be something. So I kind of splurged and got myself something, okay? I think all of them are the same and not my vibe, but if you like them, just wear them. What are you going to do with the bracelets and earrings? I'm actually getting ready because doo -doo -doo, I have my appointment today for the weight loss surgeon situation. I don't think I actually see the surgeon today. Um, I am going to do like a whole separate video. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to have it be like part of a vlog or if I want it to be like a weigh in me just talking more about like the appointment and how it went and like etc etc right now I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and I was gonna wear eyeshadow today but I've already decided against it so now my next question is like what type of color lipstick am I aiming for more of like a nude moment or like a pink moment so I haven't decided but I know for just the rest of my makeup I'm just gonna do like a little mini winged eyeliner, some mascara, because I don't know what this appointment's gonna entail. Nine times out of 10, when I talk about my weight with like health professionals, I cry. <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's like a weird thing. So, um, I don't wanna like do anything crazy with my makeup because I will be crying and I already know I'm gonna cry. So, yeah, um, this appointment is over six hours long. They said usually it's about eight hours, but they took, I guess ever since like COVID happened, um, they took out a portion of what this day consists of, which is like the psych evaluation. This is just according to the email I got, so I don't know once I get there if it's gonna be different. But they took off the psych evaluation part, which I know takes a long time because usually you have to answer like hundreds of questions and then talk to a psychologist. So they took that part out and instead of doing it there and then on that day, they're gonna schedule you through telehealth um, and get it done on a different day. So I wish it was today. I wish everything that was supposed to be completed today would be completed today. That's mainly just like my, anxiety and my obsession with things need to be like done how they're supposed to be but I understand why it's not being done like that because things change so I mean the program isn't Amberlynn Reed program it's their program so they could do it how they want but um I think it's just because I'm like so anxious to like just really get the ball rolling with this whole thing I'm so tired you guys I actually have melatonin just like running through me right now be real I had the hardest time falling asleep last night it was it was bad and I ended up only getting about four hours of sleep and it wasn't even the greatest sleep um ugh. I ended up falling asleep after 2 a.m and waking up a little after like 6 a.m so meh 
four hours, better than zero. Super curious about the appointment. We all know the last time she went to a weight loss surgeon did not go well, and I am waiting to see what her plan is going to be and how she is going to follow through on this when she has never, in her weight loss journey, followed through on anything before. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.